Hey guys, Gerard here from the Lifestyle Team again, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up uh, mobile conversion tracking so you can track leads coming from mobile or tablet devices. Um, this is something I only just recently figured out from one of our um, one, of, one of our members, and um, on, on the last webinar it was mentioned people wanted to learn how to track mobile leads, and in the past I used to have to uh, duplicate duplicate my whole YouTube video and then add in different cards, different landing pages, and then manually track it all, and that can be pretty time consuming. Although if you wanna be like sure of it, that's probably something you should consider. But there is a way um, you can amend the Google code so that you can track mobiles. And for anyone who um, doesn't really understand mobile tracking, on mobiles, they don't have any advertising links on that bottom left corner within Stream Ads. Um, instead, on mobile, you need to send traffic to cards, which look like this um, little spot here that I've got my mouse on. If I click there, you know, I can see I put in cards. And um, if you want to do that, just 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 research how to add cards to your YouTube videos, and that's where you would put the link to the landing page that you want to send your traffic to. So. Basically, in the past, um, Google can't track clicks on cards. So that it, that's a YouTube function, meaning it won't usually doesn't record a conversion um, in AdWords. So if you get a lead from a mobile and they've clicked on a card, it usually doesn't um, track as a conversion. But if you amend the code a little bit, as I've discovered, um, then it starts showing up in your AdWords dashboard. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So to start off, um, make sure that whatever thank you page you've got, so this is one of our thank you page, this is our thank you page that we send traffic to once they subscribe, right? Um, I've had to duplicate this whole page, so I've just gone to my website and duplicated it, and then just put a dash M on it to mean that this is my mobile traffic, so it's highly recommended that if you do a separate campaign for mobiles, just make sure that um, they're that they're going to a landing page that's got that they're going to a landing page opting in and then coming to uh, this thank you page actually while I'm on that it's actually pr good practice then to uh, duplicate whatever landing page you're currently sending them to so in, in my example here I'll just go to the website so right now I'm, I'm sending all my desktop traffic to here. So it's called video-series-2. However, I'm pretty sure I've got another um, landing page. So I think one of, my, one of my mobile ones is dash LOA dash M. Let me see. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, what I've done, I've duplicated this whole page um, and then amended the opt-in boxes so that when they do subscribe, they do go to this mobile page that I've set up. So you want to duplicate your landing page, duplicate your thank you page, and have that as a separate funnel for mobiles only. Okay, that, hopefully that made sense. <laughs> um, and then it's a matter of uh, creating a new conversion pixel within your AdWords, and then adding that conversion pixel to um, this thank you page. So if I go to my AdWords account, go Tools, and go Conversions. Now keep in mind, um, I found that this pixel is around 80, 80 90% accurate, accurate. So um, if you wanna manually track your stuff through your own um, CRM or Excel spreadsheets, then uh, definitely do that. But this is just a more automated way of going about it if you're okay having like 90% accuracy. So as before, you just go add conversion. And this, you'd think we'd do apps, but it's not an app, so we're gonna click website again. And this one I'll call uh, mobile lead, right? Um, once again, I'm not gonna assign a value for a lead. Um, I'll make my conversion windows as long as I can. And I'll make that sh make sure that's a lead. Um, include in all conversions, yes. And use last click model and save and continue. Cool. And um, below this video in the description, this is not the code that you would put in 
on your thank you page. For mobiles, you need to change this code up. So the code that you actually paste on your thank you page, your mobile thank you page, is going to look like this. So I'm just going to go get the code now. But this code will be in the description. You just need to replace a couple of the elements with your own elements um, based on your conversion pixel and whatever thank you page you're using. So I'm just going to get my pixel here and just show you. This is what it's going to look like. This code right here. And if you see here, the only ones, so this will be in the description of this YouTube video. So I want you to copy and paste this onto your thank you page. And then I want you to replace this part here with the URL on your website that you're sending them to. Meaning not the domain, just the final URL. So as you can see up here, I've got laptopentrepreneur.com forward slash all dash set dash M. So I've just put the all dash set dash M here and I want you to put whatever thank you page URL um, or the end of the URL that you're using and that's what you need to replace that with. And then um, you would need to then replace this code with your unique conversion ID code, the one that we just created. So you just go to your um, conversions, uh, the, the conversion that we just set up, which is mobile lead, and you're gonna get this code from here. So if we look here, it will say Google conversion ID. And you just copy that, go back to your pixel, and then you would paste it here in place of the one I've got there because you don't want to use mine. And then the second part of it is this label. And you get this label back here, and it says Google conversion label. You copy just the letters, and then you paste it just here and replace that whole code there with your code, not my code, otherwise it won't work. And then make sure that you put it in the body tag, between the body tags of whatever thank you page you're using, and then you just save it. And that's how you will start tracking mobile conversions, and that will show up in your um, AdWords dashboard. So. Hope you found that helpful. I've, I've found it pretty cool. Um, and mobile is a very powerful platform to go for. Usually I would separate my um, desktop campaigns from any mobile or tablet campaigns um, just to see how they perform. There's so many people on their mobiles and tablets these days, so it's worth your time testing that traffic out. You can bid much lower and um, you, you can get you know cheaper conversions. What I found with mobiles, uh, leads and conversions is that the buying cycle is just a bit longer. So people aren't ready to buy from their mobiles, but they're more ready to buy on desktops. You can still get sales, it just takes the, the, a longer buying cycle. So they'll probably subscribe at the time, not purchase straight away, but then later down the track when they receive any emails or your order responders, they'll, they'll buy then. So um, give that a go. And um, yeah, that code should be working um, fine like that. So. I hope you enjoyed the video, um, click like, subscribe, and if you have any questions at all, let me know and um, I'll shoot some further videos and tutorials. So, um, yep, <laughs> have an amazing day.